Hi guys, I'm Commander Nookstar and welcome back to another Elite Dangerous video. This one is about improving the visual quality of your game, particularly if you've just installed it. The default settings are quite horrendous. We aim to fix those now. Um, this is all centered around two main settings. Um, first is anti-aliasing, which is not very well supported within the Elite Dangerous engine. Um, and the other is super sampling. Now, with these two settings, you can you can transform your game from looking kind of okay, a little bit blurry, to very crisp, very sharp, and beautiful. Now, let's have a little play with the settings in real time. So we'll change a few and compare. Um, you know, in video footage, I'll zoom in a little bit, and you'll show it'll show like the detail um, and the differences between the uh, the two settings. So, if we go to graphics. And then quality. First, you'll see anti aliasing is set to off. This is on FF FXAA by default. And super sampling will be most likely set to, zero, uh, to 1.0, which is standard. So we'll apply that. This, this is what the default game looks like. Um, now, if I zoom in, you can see some of the quality is not quite there, the lines are blurry. You can see jaggies and generally a little bit fudged up, not quite right. And if we go into uh, the cockpit and I zoom in on some of the copy, some of the text in there, you can see that's not quite sharp either. So generally, this is what the game looks like on default um, with those two settings. Now, if I just zoom out and get to a, like a similar view as to what we had before. Um, you know something like that and we can see the cockpit and we've got those lines to compare so let's just give that a go and if I go into the settings again into the graphics and quality and then we go to anti-lazing you want to turn that off that is handled like I said poorly by the game engine it tends to blur pixels rather than anything else uh, this is the real anti in here. It's called super sampling. Now, if, it, if I turn that up to 2.0, and I, I admit that's going to have a quite a performance hit. So if you are running anything lower than maybe a 3 series Nvidia card or AMD equivalent, that's going to be really harsh on your frame rate. But what we'll do is we'll just I'll just show you what it looks like first, and then you can go ahead and tweak your settings. So if you look at the visual quality of that now. It is so much better. The cockpit lines, there's no jaggies or very reduced jaggies. The image quality is crystal clear. Um, but again, you know, frame rate wise, I'm getting just below 60 on that setting, which is no good considering there's nothing actually happening. So that's going to drop. So what I'll do, I'll go in and set those up to my standard settings, which I run in VR. Uh, a lot of the time so I run to 1.25 but we'll show 1.5 because most users don't use, use VR and they are on desktop um, so if you've got like a 3 series, a 4 series, a 5 series or AMD equivalent card that will that will work and you'll be able to run that no problem and 1.5 is still a massive amount of pixels more than what you normally get so again the, cop, uh, the, the text in a cockpit is very crisp now no, none of that horrible uh, sort of blurry look and then again we go outside and we can see the uh, lovely Corsair there and the cockpit again very nice a um, lot less jaggies much improved overall visual quality so those two settings guys play around with them on your game particularly if you've just in installed the game and you're new because these settings won't be applied and more often than not um, PCs these days can run those settings you know this is a 10 year old game super sampling wasn't a thing back when the game was well it was but it's not many people could run super sampling back in the day when the game was released now 10 years on there are much more powerful cards and we can we can run pretty much what we want in terms of that setting so give it a go obviously your mileage will vary if you're running a lower end card or a huge resolution like 4k 
then it's super sampling is going to be much more taxing on your system and you may have to back it off a little bit but i hope this helps um let me know in the comments if it did um i think yeah i've had nothing but positive comments from people who have let uh, know about this setting or these settings but in general you know like I said, your mileage may vary. Just let me know if it worked for you. And if there are any other settings in Elite Dangerous that you think um, make a difference to visual quality or whatever, uh, again, let me know. And um, maybe I'll make a video about those as well. So, uh, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the likes, the subscribes, and the views. And I will catch you in the next one.